Hello everybody and welcome to the Friday Practice Review for the 2019 British Grand Prix here at where it all began back in 1950, Silverstone, the former RAF base. The eyes of the world are upon us for the British Grand Prix. We move away from the dramatic and brilliant Austrian Grand Prix to the halfway stage of the season, the centre of the world and the centre of the country. It's Silverstone for the British Grand Prix. It's round 10 of the season. We've already had nine different races, three different winners. Max Verstappen was the first to break the Mercedes dominance. Two weeks time with the German Grand Prix at the Hockenheim before a week later the Hungarian Grand Prix for the summer break. Then we're back at the end of August and early September for the Belgian Grand Prix. Italy serves as round 14, the last stop on the European calendar, before Singapore, Russia, Japan, the Americas with Mexico, United States and Brazil. And we all round out on the 1st of December in Abu Dhabi. In terms of the Drivers' Championship, Lewis Hamilton leading the way, 197 points. His fifth place in Austria was his worst of the season. Bottas is closing him down. Verstappen is now the next up as well. And if you look down, still no points for George Russell or for Robert Kubica. And that means in terms of the Constructors' Championship, Williams still have no points coming into their home race on the anniversary of their first win 40 years ago. Haas F1 on 16, they're battling with Toro Rosso and Racing Point and Alpha. Renault and McLaren still battling it out. Ferrari and Red Bull still in the midst of their own because Mercedes are dominant in 2019. And what a dramatic day it was then in Silverstone for first practice. Let's get straight into that report. And it starts with a bit of an unusual one. Pierre Gasly's last lap dash, literally crossing the line with five seconds to go, put Red Bull on top and claimed first blood here at the opening practice session for the British Grand Prix at Silverstone. He is ahead of Mercedes as well as they all got to grip with the freshly laid tarmac. The second time in three years that the tarmac here has been relayed at Silverstone. Of course, relayed after last year's misery with the MotoGP race where the race had to be cancelled because it was too wet and the the track just wasn't draining. We'll get on to more about that worry later on in the program. However, Valtteri Bottas was the man to beat in the closing stages of the session. The Mercedes driver was setting a 127.629 on the soft compound tyre, which is the C3 this weekend. The hardest compound tyres are here at Silverstone. Uh, so that's C1, C2 and C3 for hard, medium and soft. Red Bull's late run propelled uh, their pair up the standings. Gasly uh, was a top and he ended up on a 127. 27.173. Valtteri Bottas, never qualified higher than fourth here, managed to get up the order as well and put P2 on a time which was 0.456 off of Pierre Gasly's time. Uh, Max Verstappen ended third, eight tenths off the pace, and Lewis Hamilton uh, in the second Mercedes was fourth, nearly a second off the pace, and actually a second off the pace was the fifth place man of Charles Leclerc, our second place driver at the Austrian Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel were off the pace as well as Leclerc. Uh, Leclerc spun as well at turn four early on, but uh, he wasn't the only one to have gone off. Rain did strike, however, just half an hour of the session to go, and we had a mini rain shower at the circuit. Uh, it didn't stay for long, but it did keep some of the midfield out of the circuit, and it sort of it put a stopper on proceedings when it was going so well. Drivers had started the session in coarser fashion anyway, aware that the new Silverstone service might be might be pretty slippery, considering that Formula 1 is the first series to race on this new tarmac, having only been laid three weeks ago. Uh, it was actually a bit interesting because uh, in the first 20 minutes, Romain Grosjean left the garage and spun literally at the pit exit. It's an uphill exit here, but uh, poor old Roman Grosjean, as soon as he got off the limiter, spun the car around and knocked off the front wing. As we already said, Haas are not having a great weekend here either, as they're currently in the rich energy battle with white bikes over that lawsuit. 
But uh, he's, he and his mechanics laughed about it as well after it was a funny little thing to happen. Kimi Raikkonen brought out the early red flag and the only red flag of the session as well. His Alfa Romeo stopped with an apparent engine issue on the Wellington Strait. He was able to coax it with 50 minutes left of the session to the exit of Brooklands, but just got before Luffield before it cut out and had to red flag the race. Sorry, the session. Uh, Renault, disappointed from an Austrian Grand Prix in which they failed to score points, bounced back eighth place for Nico Hülkenberg, setting a time of 1 minute 29.031 to lead uh, teammate Danny Ricciardo. Even though at spin at turn six for Alexander Albon, he finished in ninth place, just behind Danny Ricciardo, his teammate Danny Kvyat ending up in 13th place as well. Moving further on as well, Carlos Sainz, as we said, rounded out his top 10 for McLaren as well. A pretty easy session for him. A 1.989 off the leading time. Landon Norris struggled with the new surface as well. He spun at the final corner of Club Corner uh, just before the clears off. Narrowly avoided Sainz in 11th as well. The racing points were split by Kvyat. So that was Perez 13th, Kvyat 13th and Stroll 14th at their home race. Literally home race because located just outside of uh, the last corner of Club. Guess where? It's the Racing Point Team Factory as well. Kibitza rounded out the standings just 4.948 seconds off the pace as Williams experimented with intermediate tyres at the end of the session. George Russell was 1.5 seconds quicker, ending up ahead of the retiree of Kimi Raikkonen in 17th place. Loads of fun then in the opening session as well. Let's take a look at the times in the first practice session for the British Grand Prix. <laughs> So Pierre Gasly was fastest on a 127.173 out of the first practice session at the British Grand Prix. Valtteri Bottas was second on 127.629. Max Verstappen third on 128.009. Lewis Hamilton fourth on 128.122. Charles Leclerc rounds out the top five on a 128.253. Sebastian Vettel was sixth fastest on 128.304. Nico Hülkenberg was seventh on 128.803. Daniel Ricciardo 8th on 129.031, Alexander Albon in 9th on a 129.093, and Carlos Sainz rounds out the top 10 on 129.162. Lando Norris is 11th on a 129.170, Sergio Perez 12th on a 129.453, Danny Kvyat 13th on 129.5, Lance Stroll 14th on a 129.657, Antonio Giovinazzi 15th on 130.099, Kevin Magnussen 16th on 130.605, George Russell 17th on a 130.741, Kimi Raikkonen 18th on 130.747, followed by Roman Grosjean 19th on a 130.811, Robert Kubica rounding out the 20th on the grid and the last driver a 132.121. Let's move on to the free practice two session then here from the British Grand Prix at Silverstone. And it's Valtteri Bottas who led a Mercedes 1-2 in free practice two. Uh, in a second practice at Silverstone on, on Friday, Ferrari pair Charles Leclerc and Sebastian Vettel finishing fourth third and fourth as well. Numerous drivers struggling with gusts of wind as well and the low track temperatures and the low as well tyre grip on the circuit. It was a fun day at Silverstone to go racing as well. Bottas, as we said, led most of FP1 before Gansley briefly uh, took over at the end of the session with his late flying lap. Mercedes driver Bottas Comfortable hold in P1, though, throughout free practice number two. Ended the second session at 126.732 seconds on the soft tyre. That was enough to beat Hamilton, who finished just by 0 0.069 seconds behind as well. A car issue, though, in the final 30 minutes as well. He, he, a spark plug uh, failed at the Mercedes. They had to take the uh, little engine cover off where the spark plugs are, replace it, but they got him back out with about 15 minutes to go. No problem at all. He only completed 25 laps compared to Hamilton's 35 laps, so it cost him 10 laps in total. Ferrari and Leclerc were two tenths behind the leaders uh, in the session as well. It was Leclerc third and Vettel fourth as well. 0 0.251 behind the leader as well. Not great session for the Ferraris. But very much two by two at the moment. Uh, this morning's pace setter of Pierre Gasly settled for fifth place in his Red Bull. 
in the second session. Half a second off Bottas. McLaren's Lando Norris, who is at his home race this weekend, along with Lewis Hamilton and George Russell. And you can technically count Alexander Albon in that, as he is the British-born Thai driver. Uh, he was uh, split the two Red Bulls as well in sixth, and that was Verstappen, therefore in seventh place as well. The Briton was also one of several drivers to struggle in the new uh, tarmac and the crosswind effect that we had at Silverstone as well, going off to the Maggots and Beckett's section. He was in a good company as well. Hamilton uh, went off the track there at Chapel twice before the hangar straight. Vettel also went off there as well. Eighth place for McLaren of Carlos Sainz. Alexander Albon was competitive throughout the session. He went up in ninth place. Uh, for Toro Rosso, he was five thousandths of a second ahead of uh, Racing Point Sergio Perez, and a gap of just 1.270 separated the top ten throughout the grid. Moving on, the long runs were cut short with just under 15 minutes of the session remaining as 14th place Danny Ricciardo uh, stopped uh, down in the Maggots Beckett's and just on the entrance to Chapel, uh, triggering a virtual safety car. Uh, competitive in free practice one, Renault ended up towards the back of the crowded midfield later on in the afternoon session. Nico Hülkenberg 15th overall as well uh, behind his teammate. However, there was just a little cheese on the rivals in the midfield. Sainz 8th, just 3 tenths off faster than Alfa Romeo in Antonio Giovinazzi, who ended up down in 17th place. Magnussen's 12th finish was small. Uh, condolence for Haas uh, as well. When Grosjean kept his gadget for the first 40 minutes of FP2 with a suspected hydraulic leak. Uh, the start of the British Grand Prix, not ideal after what happened in free practice one. He ended up in 18th place. But they bring up the rear, as usual, with the Williams drivers on the anniversary of their first victory at the 1979 British Grand Prix, which is actually this Sunday, the same day as the races are. So 50 years exactly since Williams first won their race, and we'll be having a special documentary to that as well. But you can watch that as well on full on Monday, so just after this podcast as well. Uh, bringing up the rear as well, as you said, George Russell's car leaking with under an hour to go the session. He was out of it. And um, Robbie Kubica was 0.5 seconds faster than his teammate. They finished competing 37 laps to Russell's tally of only 11. An interesting session then here so far and an interesting day at Silverstone. What will happen? Well, it's only time to tell. Let's take a look at the times from the second session of practice for the British Grand Prix. <laughs> So Valtteri Bottas tops the second practice session at the British Grand Prix a 126.732. Lewis Hamilton is second a 126.801. Charles Leclerc third a 126.929. Sebastian Vettel fourth on a 127.180. And Pierre Gasly rounds out the top five a 127.249. Lando Norris is sixth on a 127.546. Max Verstappen is seventh on a 127.562. Carlos Sainz 8th on 127.987, Alexander Albon 9th on 127.997 and Sergio Perez rounds out the top 10 on 128.002. Danny Kvyat is 11th on a 128.008, Kevin Magnussen is in 12th place on a 128.059, Kimi Raikkonen 13th on a 128.126, Danny Ricciardo stopping out on track and only managing 14th is on a 128.128. On a 128.217 in 15th place is the other Renault of Nico Hülkenberg. Lance Stroll is in 16th place on a 128.240. Antonio Giovinazzi is 17th on 128.294. Romain Grosjean is 18th on 128.794. That's then followed by Robert Kubica in 19th on a 129.935. And George Russell is 20th on a 130.514. Well, tomorrow looks interesting here at Silverstone because it looks like there's rain coming in for free practice three and qualifying. And when we say rain, we mean a torrential amount of rain. We might not even see a qualifying session if anything goes by from MotoGP's race here last year, which never happened, of course, if you don't watch MotoGP. 
But if the rain does come, then we are going to be in a little bit of an interesting situation as we won't have a practice report to bring you. But still, we'll be on air tomorrow at the time of 1.30 for the Saturday practice review, regardless what happens in that session. And also, if qualifying is delayed uh, for any reason or we just have an interesting session that we need to talk about straight away, we will air a special programme as well. No idea what time, but we will a special programme about that qualifying session or you can join us for our extended Sunday race day preview show because we have got a new lap attack to show you where I take on the Mercedes W10 car and we've also got that uh, Sir Frank Williams feature as well and Dad and Megan will rejoin me for all of the action as well. So that's Saturday tomorrow at one th- at one thirty, and as well join us on Sunday at twelve o'clock for the Sunday race preview. And if anything happens tomorrow, you can join us tomorrow uh, qualifying for a special show. But keep your fingers crossed. We have a dry qualifying for the British Grand Prix because we don't like sitting around as much as you'd like sitting around watching absolutely nothing. So. It's live across Channel 4 for free-to-air television. It's live on Sky Sports F1 as well. And it's also live on the BBC Radio 5 Live website as well. So, here we go. The British Grand Prix at Silverstone off to a flying start. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe below. We'll be back tomorrow for all of the action from Saturday. From us all here, though, at Silverstone, it's bye for now.